have you named this Donald and Victor under the influence? Why is it under the influence? Well, under the influence has a double entendre. It's a uh, under the influence implies that, you know that you've taken drugs. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I was 15 years younger than Victor, and I was under the artistic influence of him. Yes. And it's because of him that I've evolved as the artist that I am today. Oh. And the artists. The paintings involved with the show were all done under quarantine. It's an homage to Victor Aramandi. Victor, Victor and I were, were uh, partners for about 17 years, lovers, partners. Uh, he was a well-known photographer and did a chronology of the AIDS epidemic or the AIDS pandemic. And uh, as we move through a new pandemic, which is more global, where everyone can identify with how it feels, I decided to do an homage to him. I painted a series of paintings during quarantine and curated a show of Victor's photography from the 80s and 90s during the first pandemic, which is the AIDS pandemic. I mean, I'm a survivor of this, of the pandemic. Holding back the tears now, it's okay, it's okay. What is some of the fondest memories you got of Victor? His unpredictability, his, uh, his laugh, his genius, his talent was so beyond anything I could imagine. And also his physical beauty, the combination of being so talented and beautiful. His work was so pure and it, it, it inspired me as an artist to evolve to this moment where we have this show in another pandemic. So it all comes full circle. What do you want the viewers to take away from this exhibit? I think I think it goes back to what we talked about. Yeah. The 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 inner inspiration that we have yeah. from emerging from this as survivors. Yeah. And I think that we all are going to take away something and remember this time because it's a, a time that we're going to talk about for many many years, uh, and eventually, you know, we will just move on. Now before we move on, tell the viewers where they can see this art. Well this art is now at the Salomon Gallery in New York City, yeah. Tribeca, which is now, according to the New York Times, the center of the art world. Yeah. So all the galleries are shifting over to Tribeca, yeah. which is the original place where Busquat and, and Keith Haring and yeah. all those great artists were. So here we go again, full circle. Thank you.